This is the Ebb Stadium, the home of the shots. Please welcome onto the pitch the match officials and the players of Ebb's Fleet United and Ebbsfleet Town!
just one point between these two teams in the regular season. Nothing between them right now, but we must have a winner. Alexander. Standing by Coulson. Time and space for Oyeliki. McClure. Strip first time by McDonald. Drury. Drury. Towards Cadwell. Holds off Reynolds. Oh, it's nicely worked and it's Cadwell. He's got him behind and he's he brought down. Referee's had a good look and gives a penalty. Just took a second or two to make up his mind there. Kedwell, the player who'd got him behind. And it's a great first touch there from Kedwell. Now he's in the ascendancy. It's right on the edge, isn't it? It's very, very close. It's a linesman's call. I mean, this will tell you now. Up against Lewis Ward. Huge moment in the season. It's a pressure penalty and it's been saved. Stopped by Ward. Still the danger not clear yet, but Coulson. Really poor penalty. How about that for encouragement now for Aldershot as Rendell looks to race forward. And Kabamba almost took it off Clark. Now the game bursts into life. It's a really poor penalty. It's one of them where he's looking at the goalie and not the ball. He's just trying to side foot. You just see him, he's so casual. Just stick your laces through it as hard as you can. It's a really poor penalty. The top scorer is in this side. Seven goals he's got from midfield. He said at the start of the campaign that he wanted to add more goals to his game, and he has done. Of course, he had the honour as well. Kellerman and being in Chris Hargreaves' National League under-21 side as well. Man down here for Ebsfleet, but on go, Aldershot. Kellerman right into the thick of the action, and McClure! Oh, Kellerman almost got to it. What an introduction that would have been. I was getting a pat on his back, Andy Drury, because just look at him on your screen now. He reads the danger. Again, Ashmore parries one into a dangerous area. Alexander's done really well there. And now McClure, Kellerman with the run into the box. He was spotted and it's been found. He's already having an impact, isn't he? Kellerman, that was a clever run. That's a brilliant Does it really, really well. I remember watching Kedwell take a very confident penalty in that two-all draw against Macclesfield live on BT Sport. Only a month or so ago. Completely different penalty, that one. Rendell just got away from it. Kabamba. Oh, he's done well. Oh, what a challenge that is by Clark. Potentially goal-saving challenge. Ball still alive, though, as Kellerman plays it in. And Rendell gets his head to it, and it wouldn't dip enough for them. the player down will be Ebsfleet's free kick though as we approach the final 20 minutes remember we must get a winner tonight it wasn't the ball that he wanted originally straight away so he seems in a lot of pain 
him to drop it into him rather than to keep going for that long ball and, and hope for the knockdowns. But for, for Jim Kellerman, nasty injury if he's dislocated his shoulder. Disappointing for, for, for all the shot. Al's ball back. Coulson with the early cross. Over towards Kedwell. Winford it was rather who was up from the back. Kinsella. And McDonald. And somebody really come to the fore for one of these sides in what remains. Kabamba. McDonald. He's 20 years old. He's in some row. Reynolds, the captain. Now Oyeliki, Club's Player of the Year and most used midfielder in terms of appearances this season for the shots. Oh, it's hit first time. And it was almost wonderful, wasn't it? The effort by Robert, who is capable of the spectacular. He certainly is. Brilliant awareness from him. A little flick. I'll tell you what. The 100th minute of this game, and still we go on as Soyaliki's ball back has just kept in by Lewis Ward. Well, nothing to separate Aldershot and Ebsleaf after 90 minutes. Kedwell still playing over that missed penalty in his head, no doubt. Stopped by Lewis Ward. This playoff eliminator goes to extra time, a real test of endurance at the end of a gruelling season. Two sides who will really need to dig deep here. Nil-nil at full time, but who knows, the goalkeepers, if we look ahead to the potential of penalties, could have huge roles to play here. We've already seen one penalty stopped by Lewis Ward. Hold a shot, which is why this has gone to extra time, this eliminator in the playoffs. Alexander, worth remembering again, by the way, that Epsley have never beaten Aldershot in the National League. Twelve previous meetings as well, eight wins for Aldershot, four draws. Rowe was able to turn. It's driven in from some distance out by the captain, Reynolds. Both of these clubs hoping to prolong their season yet further, 4,520 minutes. One of them will have played in the National League this season just to get to this next stage. Remember, it's not just one game they've got to win in this playoffs. The way the new system works, they have to win three. This one tonight, then the semi-final awaiting on Saturday. Lunchtime kickoff at Tranmere, where they'll compete for a place. The winners of this game in the final at Wembley on the 12th of May. It is the long route. But if one of these sides were to get to the Football League, I'm sure they wouldn't mind Adam Burke. <laughs> they wouldn't mind at all. Let's see 15 minutes. Now, perhaps an early opportunity for Aldershot. Rendell with the ball over. He stood up a good cross there as well, and Kinsella at the back post. Snatched at it. And it's managed to stay in. And Kabamba! Oh! What a header! Nicky Kabamba for Aldershot! Less than a minute into the second period of extra time. It was a gamble to start Kabamba for tonight from Gary Waddock, but it's one that might just have paid off big time. Well, it's a great header. You must certainly say that. Rises well, directs it brilliantly. I mean, but how the goal gets set up here is sheer luck. I mean, if he means that, he shouldn't be playing at this level, but take nothing away from the cross that comes in just gives himself half a yard on Winfield. Just pulls away from him for a sec. Winfield can't get there. And he just directs it in brilliantly to give Aldershot a massive lifeline and a massive goal for them in a crucial game. Only the third goal of his lone spell from Portsmouth. But it could be the most important goal scored by Aldershot this season. side on the brink of a semi-final, a chance for them to avenge the defeats, potentially to Tranmere in last season's playoffs. 
and so revered and admired Gary Waddock at the recreation ground. He's won the league title in his first spell as Caban, but decides to try and have a go. to be in a rush here, Ebb's fleet time is rapidly running out on their season. Rance competing for it with Evans, and it's Rance who over his cross, which is real up and under, Winfield, he scored! The centre-half of all people, with his first league goal of the season, a minute away from their Football League dream, Evaporating, Emsfleet have rescued this situation. Dave Winfield makes it 1 1. Kept in here by Ashmore. So it's penalties there. Dave Winfield's equaliser right at the end of extra time means that this playoff elimination game will be decided by spot kicks, nothing between Aldershot and Ebbsfleet after more than 120 minutes. Here we go then, how the nerves. Long hard seasons and it comes down to a shootout. It's Reynolds to take the first and thumps it home. The Aldershot skipper leads by example. What he does, take responsibility. And he does brilliantly now. Nothing fancy about this, Ashmore goes the right way, but that is a perfect penalty from Callum Reynolds. Now it's Miles Weston who steps forward to take Ebbsfleet's first penalty kick here. Up against Ward, who of course has saved a penalty during the game from Kedwell. As the Ebbsfleet manager, Darrell McMahon, looks on. It's Miles Weston, and it's into the corner, and that's a really good penalty. Confident penalty as well. Knows exactly what he's doing. So it's James Rowe who will take the next spot kick for Aldershot. Came on as a second half sub for the injured Kellerman, remember? As Ashmore readies himself. It's Rowe for Aldershot, and it's another really good penalty. All three of them have been excellent so far. Just picks his spot brilliantly. Confident as well. Sends Ashmore the wrong way. It's McCoy to take it, up against Wards. Oh, he gets the right way! Really good stop. It's advantage, all the shot in the shootout. Just too easy with the run-up. For a goalkeeper, that's an easier one to read. Goes early, decent save from him, but not the best penalty. Scott Rendell to take the next one. Says he feels he's probably the most confident penalty taker at the club. Says he loves the mind games of penalties. He's only ever missed one in his career. Long run up though for Scott Rendell. Perfect penalty. He was right. Confident penalty from Scott Rendell. You get the advantage from McCoy's miss. You have to capitalize on that. Again, sends the goalie the wrong way. Jack Powell to take the next one. Got ten goals in the regular season. Really important player for Ebbsfleet. Yeah! Saved again! What a performance in the shootout from Lewis Ward. 3-1 the shots lead. And they're so close now, and doesn't Gary Waddock know it? Well, it's another great save, another comfortable height for a penalty for Ward to save. He's been the hero so far. So this is it now, as the scoreboard tells us. It's Kinsella! He's missed the chance to send them through to the semi-final. When you've got a penalty to take you through, just stick your laces through it. Don't bother trying to send the goalie the wrong way. Go down the middle, giving Edsley a small lifeline. What about the pressure on this kick now? The Norman Wabo, just 19 years old, on loan from Southend, has to score to keep this going, and does. They're still in this, they're still fighting. They're not giving in. Daryl McMahon's absolutely. Fair play to the youngster. 
huge pressure on his shoulders. Decent penalty from him. Another match point, though, here for Gary Waddick's older shot. It's Robert who is stepping forward to take this. They've missed one opportunity to finish this off. Can Ashmore keep out Robert, or is it Aldershot who are going forward to the semi-final at Prenton Park on Saturday? He stopped it! Incredible! Ashmore gets the right way, and this shootout just goes on. Take a bow, Nathan Ashmore. Just stays big as long as possible to make Robert make the decision. 3-2, and of all the people to be taking the penalty to keep Ebsfleet in this game, it's Kedwell, who's already had one saved by Lewis Ward. It's his second time, lucky it is. He thumped that one home. Oh, he meant that, Kedwell. And it's all square. Well, regardless of the experience of Danny Kedwell, the amount of games that he's played, he would have felt pressure taking this. When you're under pressure, as I said before, you just stick your laces through it. The shot was that hard, Ward couldn't even get near it. Sudden death now. They've had five spot kicks each. It's Oyelike. All the shots, player of the year. That's a calm penalty. Exactly what they needed in the circumstances. Well, Jack Connors scored the first goal of his senior career on the final day against Torquay. Has to score here. It's Connors, and it's in. No sign of nerves there. So now it's Lewis Ward, who certainly played a big part here tonight. Oh, off the post! He's gone from hero to zero. What drama in the playoffs! And now, incredibly, after Aldershot missed two match points, Ebsfleet can win it. Oh, I cannot believe this. He's saved three penalties, he's now made to take one and he misses. You just could not script this, could you? This is it, to win it, and he has! It's Rance for Epswick! Their dreams remain alive. Daryl McMahon side through to the last four. Amazing. It looked like they were down and out, but somehow they've managed to win this shootout.